I, I have a spreadsheet. This is, oh my gosh, how have we gone 1,026 episodes without ever having this conversation? Um, I have I have the same thing in a spreadsheet, which I like because I have the IP address that I assign to it, the DNS name of the device, because I want to assign it, you know, like, like yep, the name. Yep, yep, correct. And I want that to be the same no matter what. And then... Uh, I have the Mac address in there and then I have yep. a notes field. And so it's all, you know, a spreadsheet lets me keep it in <laughs> columns and, and all of those things. But yes, absolutely. I have the same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I need to update mine. I haven't done it in a while, but I, f I find it really helpful to know, like I'll assign Debbie, you know, dot 10 through dot 19 and me dot 20 through dot 29, that sort of thing. And I'll know that my, my computer is, you know, and hers is 11 and mine is 21. My phone is 22 and hers is 12 and such. So if I ever had to SSH in that I know where they are without even having to go look it up. I yeah. do that thing. I do that part too. I have all mine yeah. in ranges. So like my media devices are all in one range. My, my networking equipment's all in one range. My iPhones are all in one range. My Macs are all in one range. Yeah. That's how I broke it yep. up. <laughs> yep. I, I, uh, yes, I did the same thing. Yep. Yep. And, I, yeah. and I'll re-ask the question that I asked a few weeks ago. Is anal retentive hyphenated? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it, I, like, but this is super helpful. Um, it is. It's yeah. a great way to know where your stuff is. Yes, yeah. And to be is. able to access it in the event your computer locks up and you want to SSH in from your iPhone, you can yep. do it. Yeah, I don't, I only, I, was, I don't do it with my iPhone. And, and yeah. the umbrella statement for that is I don't do it for devices that I would never want to connect to as like a server or a, re a network resource. So, and that's only, it, it, it's not that I have anything, there's nothing bad about doing it for your iPhones. It's just that that's more work, uh, <laughs> it, it, you know? And so I don't need to know what IP address my iPhone uh, is on. Like it, it, that doesn't matter to me. I'm not saying it's bad if it matters to you. It's just for me, I'm okay, but I want all of my desktop Macs. I even do it with my my laptops because I will sometimes want to connect to those. So my Macs all have um, reserved IPs, and my disk stations do. You yeah. know those those kinds of things. Obviously, my router mm -hmm. that's that sort of goes without saying. And some other things that get like printers for sure get their own IPs. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that. Like I, I give them to, I mean, I guess I could bring up the spreadsheet and I, then I could tell you. Yeah. But. <laughs> while, Dave, while, you, you... while you do that, I have a question. Am I on, the only uh, noob who uses Synology, Synology Disk Assistant? Because going back to the original question, that's how I, that's often how I find my Synology. Is that the little app you run on your Mac? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it just launches the, the IP. Like yeah. It show, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh. I, I, I didn't know the app existed. Oh. Yeah. I don't no, run it. Because I'm, I mean, I have I'm it, a noob. But, I'm a noob. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It, it, like being a noob is like th that. We are all noobs about certain things. Like right. nobody, n none of us, none of the three of us here and none of us listening can be an expert and knowledgeable about all the things, even all the things Apple. It's just not possible. There, there might have been a day where it was, but that day is gone. All my switches, my my smart network switches get uh, IP addresses. Those, however, I hard code into the switch. I do make a reservation for them, but they are hard coded into the switch so that the, if the switch comes up, even if my router is down, I can still connect to the switch at the IP address that I know it will be at. So oh, yeah, that's good. That's go. good advice. Yeah. 